Hi, this is my first video, so please bear with me. Years ago, I took a class from Boxer Scrapbook Productions at a scrapbook expo, and it didn't quite fit my dog's personality, so I've taken it and changed it into just a regular princess album inside of a tin. On the top, I have some DMC floss that I've braided and looped through the two triangle little loops here. I did originally have it go around and tie so that you undid it to get into the album like I saw many albums are doing, but this tin is so secure that it doesn't need that extra support. On the top, there's plenty of room for a title or even a, a four by six picture with, you can do a little bit more of a border and still have room for a title. However, I was kind of thinking of doing a three by five. I've taken some black around the edge, so hopefully it shows up on the video a little bit better. Inside opens up very easily. There are no hinges, two pieces. The album sits snug and nice inside the bottom of the tin. I don't know if the Ot light is picking it up, but I used a Stardust gel pen to add some sparkle details, give it a little silvery shine and bling to it. I have some scraps. You can turn these into tags if you like. I was planning on using it to help mat a picture on the front because there's still room down here at the bottom for the title. You can use them for tags, like I said, or even maybe punch out Martha Stewart punch for the photo corners. Inside, I have more of that sparkled stardust bling in there. I've done a little details on every one of the crowns even if it's just little tips or if it's inside and a little more of a line there is nice room on this on these two pages for a three by five and journaling on the bottom a four by six still fits but going by the graph on my desk here it's going to take at least an inch off for it to fit nice i was also planning on doing computer printout and cutting it out because i don't like my printing but maybe you like your handwriting better and I turned this into a belly band so that you can add things like tags, photos, postcards, programs, pamphlets, to birth announcements, you know, greeting cards, or any kind of memorabilia that's a flat. It doesn't have to be too flat because there's plenty of room inside the tin. And because it's inside the tin, it's not going to get loose or lost. The next page is a paisley. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. And there's room for four three by fives and it could be pictures or journaling or a combo and those of you with the eye do see that yes there is another belly band on these on this layout the next one has that nice glimmer I've added bling to the top of the crowns nice room for a three three by five and still has a nice border four by sixes fit in the pockets the last double page spread has just a little bit of the bling because I didn't want to detract from what I thought would be a nice page to do a nice portrait. And that's what I was kind of planning on doing. And then, of course, the back. And it all fits nicely inside the tin. I'm including 10 tags. They're all single-sided on the backs. They have the pink and white little protector. On the fronts, a white protector. The fronts, or what I'm calling the front, has the sparkle, just like inside the album, and the ribbon, which can be easily just pulled, and you can take the ribbon off if you'd like. Maybe add it to the ring, or maybe you don't like ribbon at all, or you wanna cut it to a different size, or use it as a mat. The second one has a knotted, which it's just a double knot. Again, you can use your fingers to undo it. I didn't want to lose the charm, so I knotted it. But this one would not go through this little tiny hole, so I used a smaller ribbon and then just made it a nice little tag on the top. The second one is that same pattern with, again, the Stardust gel pen. First one's just looped. Second one is knotted because it has the little fairy or the, the angel at the top. The next set 
is the paisley with the sparkles knotted at the top. I mean, looped at the top. This one is knotted because it has the lion with the scepter and the crown. And then the last are a set of four. They have the black and white. This one's just looped. This one's knotted because it has the frog with the crown, kind of like the frog prince. This one is just looped. This one's knotted with the castle. I'm also going to include ribbons. I've got the silk, the, the silky ribbons. I am including two different sizes because not only having different textures, if you're looping them to the rings, it's nice to have different textures, but it's also nice to have different sizes. But also the small one was easier to loop some of the charms through. I have the crown, which is at least 24 inches, and the little rickrack, which kind of looks like the chevron. And I was thinking of using that more of like a photo corner to put my pictures down. Also going to include some charms. I didn't put charms on every single one of the tags because I wasn't sure if everyone was going to like the little frog as much as I did. Plus these four extras are double-sided and they would work better on the outside of the album than on the tags. Unicorn. And there's the crown. And then the little carriage. That's the same little sets. And then the frog. This is the back. And the front has the nice circle that you can include a photo in. I would take a Xerox of the photo, but just put a little bit of glue, put the Xerox down, and then use, like Tim Holtz has a glue, or a diamond glaze, or Mod Podge, or something to protect the picture if you wanted. I was actually planning on doing nail polish with some glitter in it. I'm also going to include this. It doesn't look like much, and it doesn't match, but this is just washi tape holding on to a threader which people were talking about how easy it was for them to find. It took me forever. Easy through floss threader. And it doesn't look like much, which is why I've included it on the card, but it works very nicely. For those of you who don't know, you loop your ribbon in through the loop, and then you just take your charm, loop it through, it pulls through, and then your charm is threaded. And that's what I had to do on some of those charms. It was hard to put into the big one. Um, I'm also giving the bag, which would be nice if you are doing dog little album, you can put the dog tags, or there's a ton of little baby memorabilia that you can put inside. And it fits snug, nice, a little bit of extra room inside the tin. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you.